Hello, everyone. Welcome to our very first episode of What's Next. Do you want to know what is this about? Well, let's find out. Hello, everyone. Manufa Collectibles here with our very first episode of What's Next. And if you want to know what this show is about, well, this is about news, rumors, market watch, what's going on in the community, you name it. This show will cover it all. Are we going to have new guests in the future? Of course we do. We're going to have guests. We're going to have people coming in the show. Eventually, we'll probably do a live stream of this. So stay tuned because a lot of things are coming to the channel. But in today's episode, we're going to talk about a few things that are going on right now. First is Carnage, right? Uh, it was a new announcement, new release. And also we're going to talk about the list. There's one list going on and a lot of people asking me questions. What is this about? Is this all we're going to get in terms of figures coming in the next uh, month, quarter, you name it? Well, I have to talk about this because I um, double check this with my sources and there's some good news. So stay tuned for that. But let's start with the show. I want to give a huge shout out to everyone who's tuning in tonight for our very first episode. So let's get started. All right, guys. So what's going on? We are going to talk about the carnage. So as you guys know, Hot Toys decided to pull the trigger for this particular figure. So let me just put it on the screen so you guys can see what I'm talking about. All right. So here we have carnage, guys. So this is venom carnage red version so what's up with this okay so this figure was announced today or well yesterday because if you're watching this video is actually the 29th and um i have some mixed feelings about this figure it doesn't look bad first of all i think it does look very nice i love the glossy i love the color the paint application on this one looks pretty good um is this my final carnage uh, maybe not Maybe it's not one of my favorites, but I know a lot of people like it. It is really nice um, representation of this particular character. Um, you know, I don't know if I'm going to get this one, to be honest with you. Most likely I will. So you guys can see the unboxing and review when the time comes. But in general, this figure looks pretty good. Um, I think it's definitely a market for this. Um, and again, I'm not sure how many people will be uh, happy to see this figure coming. However, this is where the fun begins because we know, according to my sources, that we have another carnage coming. And of course, you know which one I'm talking about. A lot of people asking about this. When is this one coming? Are we going to get this carnage? Well, yes, we're going to get this carnage uh, from the Venom movie. I can wait to watch the movie, so bear with me on that. Um, it's going to be a release uh, or announcement, rather, of this figure. The official announcement of this figure probably coming sometime in October. You know, sometime in October, we're going to see the announcement of this figure. It could be sooner, later. It's going to be in October. That's according to my sources. Now, another thing that I was told as well, and again, take this with a grain of salt because it is a possibility that this may or may not happen, is that we might see another version of Venom as well. And these are more like rumors, nothing confirmed yet. Uh, my personal take of this is that we might see another version of Venom just because you know Tom Hardy I mean come on you want to have the, the face have the face have Venom you want to see that right so I think there's a possibility when that happened well only had to know because they know it all they are the ones who release these figures not me not you so Venom uh let uh, there be carnage this figure in particular should be announced sometime in October so stay tuned for that I know a lot of people are going to be very happy about this because, you know, we want Carnage. And I know my friend uh, Anthony from Cisco Mafia, that he loves Venom. He's going to be like probably one of the first to get this one. And of course, when we get this figure, it's going to be here on the channel for the unboxing and review. So stay tuned for that. All right. So enough with the Carnage. Now, let's talk about the list. All right, guys. So there's a list going on, right? We've seen this list in a lot of social media platforms. I'm going to be credit to uh, Jesse Liu 
who posted this um, list, if you will. So there are a couple things going on, right? So the first thing is, you know, what is this list about, <laughs> right? A lot of people are kind of confused that uh, this is the list of actual releases, right? But it is and is not. So let me explain. So basically this list is a list of figures that were delayed but now they're gonna see the light so what does that mean does that mean that are we should we expect for example ahsoka or should we expect i don't know battle damage iron man to come soon it is very possible because this list again is based on delays so the first figures that it was announced that is going to be releasing in october of course you guys know is the one and only captain rex so captain rex is scheduled to be released in october um my sources validated this this figure has been ready for a while for a long while and it's been pushed back after pushback after pushback so this figure should see the light anytime soon in october as the list uh or the post said which is a legitimate source um, i was able to validate that so now a lot of people asking me okay but does that mean that ahsoka is not happening well ahsoka is still happening right now that whether it's gonna be sooner rather than later only hatois knows but anything that is not listed on the list um should be going as scheduled so you know don't get discouraged don't think that those are going to be just the releases because as i mentioned in this uh, show before in our previous live streams we're gonna see a lot of things going on in q4 so that being said let's move on to the next one so this one is the first one that we're gonna be uh, that we're gonna see in october which is uh captain rex personally i have a feeling that we're gonna see this guy it could be friday because friday is technically october so why not either this or next week so we should see this guy coming soon at this point a lot of people are really waiting for this guy to be out including myself so this is one of the figures that we should see coming very very soon now the other one that uh, according to that list is this figure which i honestly it wasn't on my radar because i didn't play the game i don't know much about this particular character in the video game so um harley quinn from uh, arkham's arkham knight should be releasing as well in october now when who knows <laughs> it's gonna be in october sometime in in october um but not only this right we're probably gonna see a couple more figures coming in october this is according to what i was told again this can change We've seen this many, 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 many times. So um, I still have the hopes that we're going to see Ahsoka this month. I still have the hopes that we're going to see Pennywise probably towards the end of the month, maybe around Halloween, which will be, you know, will make sense. Um, but this is one of the figures that we should see coming this month. So that's enough for that. Now, there are more figures, right? There are way more figures. So I'm just going to give you the few that I think are, you know, important i guess i mean all of them are important but to me uh worth to mention so the next one that we're gonna see in q4 right could be november december you name it is the flash from the flash tv show so this figure here i honestly haven't seen the show so i cannot comment of if it's good or bad but uh this figure is coming in q4 that's I think it's going to be good if you are a fan of this show you should see this one coming very soon as well so that's the the flash another figure that is supposed to come in q4 and honestly i can't wait to see this one here is of course captain america 2012 version and this is from the avengers endgame i have my hopes very high on this figure because i think the head scope of um uh chris evans is was very nicely done i think it was a huge improvement for the prototype i have a good feeling about this i think this guy is gonna be awesome when the time comes and it's out so we should expect this one sometime in q4 as well but i know there are more figures because we have a huge list so the next one that we actually discussed this in previous shows as well is of course captain marvel from avengers endgame this is another figure that is expected to be out in q4 and again this is the list of delayed figures delayed figures 
that are that are gonna see the light anytime soon. So this one is one of them, Captain Marvel. A lot of people are on the fence on this figure. I personally like it. I think this one looks pretty cool, especially that awesome uh, nano gauntlet. I think uh, we had this conversation before with my friends on the previous live stream that this nano gauntlet is kind of unique. So it will be awesome to have, right? So that's it for this Captain Marvel. So now for the next one, and this is guys, by all means, this is the most anticipated figure for me because I think Hattoist nailed it, killed it. Knock it out of the park is obviously Wonder Woman 1984. And I mean, this has couple is beautiful. If Hot Toys is able to deliver this in a final prototype, I can assure you that this figure will not last long in the shelves because this Hascope is amazing. I think one of the best Hascopes I've seen for Wonder Woman. And you know, not only that, we're going to see both versions. We're going to see the regular version and we're going to see the deluxe, which is the one with the uh, with the wings, you know. So that's going to be kind of fun to see. Now, the price on this one is going $300 for the, I guess, regular version and $360 for the deluxe um, Wonder Woman Golden Armor. So this is going to be huge, guys. I'm telling you, this is one of the most anticipated figures for me. So I really hope that the prototype, oh, sorry, the, the final product matches this awesome, awesome prototype. So that's that's about it for that. Now for the next one, and then this is another figure that a lot of people are waiting very patiently, is of course, Loki. And this one is really, really nice as well. If you miss on the first release, this is your chance to get this one in your hands because this one is going to be really, really nice to have. Now, this figure is of all these figures that I mentioned before should be sometime in Q4. You know, I just give you the list of the figures that are maybe most important, <laughs> you know, to me at least. But uh, but we should see this figure coming in Q4. And as you can see, the list was pretty good. I think it was a good thing to know what's coming next um, officially from Hot Toys. Um, I know there's been a lot of rumors, a lot of talking. I share a lot of information here. And again, this is what I'm told and I'm just sharing with you. If it happens, happens. If it doesn't happen, it doesn't happen. Don't hate the player, hate the game. Um, but, but that's basically it. So now enough with that. I want to talk about something that my friend Eris from Silsa Cantina brought it up in one of his shows. And it is about a figure that I know a lot of people are very excited, very, you know, you know, they want this to happen. Uh, and including myself, I really want this figure to, to be released sooner rather than later. And it is not only the one and only Lando Calrissian. So what's going on with this figure? So... You know, it is not a secret that this figure is supposed to, it's a schedule to be released this year. Um, now, whether it's going to happen in Q4 or sometime October, I don't know. But according to what I was told, we should see Lando Calrissian also um, coming soon, hopefully Q4, because as I mentioned before, we are going to expect a very busy Q4. So get your wallets ready because trust me, you're going to need a lot of money to get these guys. But uh, this figure here, I can wait. I mean, this is going to be, this is what we are waiting for, right? Uh, uh, original trilogy character, none other than Lando Calrissian. So I can wait for this to happen. So fingers crossed, hopefully we're going to see this figure in Q4. All right, guys. So now let's talk about the watch list alert this is a segment that i'm going to be putting in this um what's next uh show and of course courtesy of my friend six call cantina aries the bartender himself if you want to know about the star wars market what's going on with the figures if it's trending up trending down if you want to buy something but you're not sure what you should pay for it make sure you check six cantina.com and you're going to be able to not only see how the market is trending, but also if you want to buy a figure, right, you will know the price. So you don't have to overpay anymore. This is basically a average of all the listings on, you know, eBay, previous uh, other sellers. 
and this is an average so it is a good source i use it all the time to be honest with you so i want to have this section here thank you eris for sponsoring this watch list by eris six cantina so thank you my friend so now let's talk about the figures that you should be very careful and and if you haven't pulled the trigger on these ones yet by all means you should so we're going to start with the first one the first one is and we spoke about this way before it happened is of course the armorer so the armor is currently shipping to the us if i'm not mistaken so you should start getting this figure if you're in the us um i don't think we have a lot of this made this is a toy for exclusive so right there is a plus plus this is a figure from the mandalorian so that right there is your your alert right if you haven't pulled the trigger on this figure by all means you should i think this is a really good figure yes despite the issue with the well not the issue but the articulation on the arms is single joint that's a painful for people for all the, for some people which is absolutely fine if you want to watch the review i'm going to put the link right up there so you guys can check it out and you know make your decision whether you want to get it or not but yeah the armor is a figure that you should definitely 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 be very uh mindful and get it if you can so this is the armorer now another figure that i know a lot of people are very happy about including myself because i said this in my review that this is one of the best uh, figures and bodies i've seen for a particular trooper the favor first battalion because now they corrected the spelling so now it's a battalion so they corrected the spelling this figure here the deluxe especially the deluxe just you know just you know keep an eye on those keep an eye on those because this figure is definitely gonna be high in the secondary market when this is sold out especially because this is a deluxe and i've seen a lot of really good pictures from other collectors having this figure with anakin and multiples you know nicely posed so definitely if you want to get one two or three by all means if you can't afford it of course you should pull the trigger but this is another figure that you should be watching and you know paying close attention you don't want to you don't want to miss it you know because then i don't want to see posts on facebook hey i want to get this figure at retail hey i want to get this figure at retail when it's long sold out so that happens all the time <laughs> it happens all the time but continuing with the five of first or the clone wars rather another figure that you should be very mindful and you should be paying a close attention is the Corson guard this guard is really nice as well i also did the unboxing and review of this figure make sure you check it out the link is going to be here or down there so you know check it out because you're gonna love this figure for sure so this is another figure that you should be pretty much uh you know paying a close attention to close eye if you can find some discounts if you can get some points or whatever by all means you should pull the trigger on this figure because let me tell you this is gonna be really good as well i i love the the i haven't seen the clone wars to be honest with you but i have the fabo first i have the course on guard i'm gonna get a soak i'm gonna get all of them because i like the quality i have to be honest i like the quality i think this is really nice um you know figures so you should definitely uh you know uh pay close attention to those so another figure that is now shipping finally after a long long time is obviously ig11 so ig11 is another really good figure it's from the mandalorian it's a droid uh remember what happened with k2so exactly so don't sleep on this figure either um i don't think this figure is gonna be a long time on the shelves it, it has a really good potential to be sold out really really fast so make sure you also keep a close eye on this one i think my friend um howard stoys has this figure on in stock so if you want to get this figure make sure you check him out as well i'm gonna put the link in the description in case you're interested so that's about it for ig11 so now do you remember what happened with ray you know when we did the unboxing review and i think my friend aries also spoke about this what happened with ray from the rise of skywalkers was something very funny or very particular if you will when the figure was originally announced the prototype wasn't that great 
a lot of people, despite that a lot of people didn't like the sequels, which is by all, by all means fine, the figure itself didn't deliver in the prototype. However, Hot Toys stepped up on their game and decided to correct that mistake and fix the head sculpt. So now, what happened with Ray? Well, she's well listed already. And another figure that should be well listing very soon, or rather, going gone with the wind very very soon is Kylo Ren. And yes, this version of Kylo Ren is by far the best in my opinion, especially the head sculpt. It was a huge, huge improvement from the prototype, and you saw the final products. You saw the unboxing review that I did on this channel. Of course, the picture that I put on Instagram. This figure is very, very nice, and you should definitely consider getting this figure if you haven't done so, because once this figure is sold out, you know what's going to happen, right? <laughs> You're going to pay a lot of money for this. So just make sure that you don't sleep on it, because if you sleep on it, you know what's going to happen. So that's it for the market watch, for the watch list alert, thanks to my friend Aries from Cisco Cantina. And now my final segment of this show is I'm going to dedicate it to the, well, the SiskelCantina.com. Again, I spoke with my friend Aries and I asked the permission and the blessing to please let me use your source. <laughs> Just kidding. Let me use let me let me use your website so I can show people how the Star Wars figures are trending up and down. Of course, if you want to hear this in more depth, you should check him out because he has all the information. He has the Toys Wizard on his side on his side. So you can go wrong with that. <laughs> you can go wrong with that, right? Nobody can beat the, the Hot Toys Wizard. Nobody. Nobody can beat him. Not even this guy here even though he looks good with the hat. But, uh, but yeah, so going to sixscalecantina.com. This is the section, and this is just going to be something that I'm going to be showing you guys uh, at the end of the show. So you can see kind of kind of see the movement of what's going on in the market. And that's it. Because I don't have the numbers. I don't have that intel. That's why this is the job for my friend Cisco Cantina, Aries. So as you can see here, guys, we have Ray that is trending up. We see the DX16, which is one of my favorite Darth Maul figures also trending up. And this figure here, and I'm going to show you just my top six on this one. Uh, and this one here, uh, Luke Skywalker from The Last Jedi. This is my ultimate look. I'm, I, I really love this figure. And I said it from the very beginning when I got it. And I'm, I'm very happy I pulled the trigger on this one because I had the, the, the other version of Luke, you know, with the long hair. But this one here, for some reason, screamed to me, this is Luke Skywalker. You need to get this guy. And you see, he's trending up. Same with uh, one figure that is trending down, actually, is Kylo Ren from The Last Jedi. And it makes sense because we have the one from The Rise of Skywalker, which is by far the best, especially the head sculpt, the features, you name it. Another one that is trending up is, of course, Leia Organa. And this is from The Last Jedi. And by all means, guys, I'm telling you, if you can still get this figure at a decent price, you should get it. Not only because it's an original trilogy character, is because she's it's Carrie Fisher, guys. Come on, Carrie Fisher. The next one is the two pack Tarkin and Bader trending down, amazingly trending down. And of course, another one that is trending down is K2SO. And in here, I'm gonna step in here, and this is my theory why this figure is trending down. And, and of course, Ares can correct me anytime, anywhere, uh, because he's the He's the guru of this. But uh, I think my theory is that since we're going to have the new show and are coming next year, it is very likely that we're going to see another version of K2SO or maybe the same version of K2SO from Rogue One. So we're probably going to see this figure come kind of like a re-release, if you will. So that's, you know, that is very possible, in my opinion. And, um, and that's basically it for this uh, Bigger Mover section courtesy of my friends Aries from Six Scale Cantina. And um, this is it for me, guys. I really hope you guys enjoy this show. This is my very first show. What's next? Episode one, where we're going to talk about news, rumors, what's going on in the market, you know, and in general, what's going on in the collecting in general. So I really hope you guys enjoy this show. The show is going to be about 30 maybe 40 minutes long i don't want to keep it super long because i know you guys have stuff to do but uh but if you spend your time watching this video i really appreciate it please don't forget to like and subscribe to my channel also guys 
as you know, we have a subscription, a membership going on in the channel. So I'm going to be working on a special show only for members. So if you don't want to become a member of the channel, you should consider uh, hitting the join button right underneath next to the subscribe button. Don't forget to follow me on my Facebook group, Six Scale Media, for anything related once it's called figures both links in the description below and if you have some time check out these two cool videos and as always be well and see you around in the next video <laughs>